Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here, just popping in. Y'all got, excuse me, it's dark, but uh, I'm headed home, and when I get home, I don't want to have to shoot no video. I'm trying to spend a little time with my wife, but uh, wanting to pop in and touch touch base on this here P. Diddy situation. You know, this is really, really something, and it, it really speaking to the perversion. Now, if, if you read the Bible, you remember when the men went to the door. I can't remember if it was Lot or whatever, and went to the door and was bamming on the door and was like, hey, bring those men outside so we can have sex with them. And this way back in the Bible days, what well, men was digging off in men and the Lord had to burn down Sodom and Gomorrah. And then here's the thing, what was so what was shaking up so much with society, and this is why I try to tell y'all the devil is in the details. These men is gay because of pornography. And the reason why molestation and stuff like that happen is because of pornography. And when I say pornography, yes, I'm talking about the real thing, like the videos, but just also what I mean is just a pornographic lifestyle, a pornographic mindset, just a sexually perverse mindset. And that's what people don't understand, like that so-called casual sex. Sex is not casual. So that sex leads to more debauchery because see one thing about lust and I heard this said a long time ago it said lust cannot be quenched lust is not like thirst that it can be quenched see lust gotta be starved to death and the thing about lust is the more you feed it the more you feed it it's like feeding a monster the more you feed it the stronger it get so if you notice Think about your life as an adult. Now, for those of you who haven't really been out there, then you really won't relate to this. But when when I say out there, I mean like in a sexual relationship. But for those of you who have been in a sexual relationship, think about how it advances. How first is this. Then next is this. Then next is this. Then next is this. Then next is this. And the next thing you know in that sexual relationship, it's stuff going on that you like, man, I never thought that'll happen now. Some strange for a piece of change. Like, my goodness, what the world going on? Like, you hear about stuff, and then the next thing you know, you like, woo. Like the song, eat the eat the booty like groceries. And so, this the thing. Why she said that in the song? nasty behind you know why because it happens and so she literally said that in a song so that's what happened with these men like p did it and see what this does is this changes the face of heterosexuality because when you look at diddy see a lot of time we have this thing about oh a man look gay or you know he look gay but when you look at diddy you know, I, I never once seen gay. Like, he he never once was, like, flamboyant. He started to say some questionable stuff. But even when you look at a and, and, and so the man then came out, and he telling on Diddy, and he, he really telling on Diddy because they playing with his money. You know, the man with this new lawsuit. They playing with his money and don't want to pay him what they owe him. So he say, all right, you don't want to pay me? And sometimes folks get mad about that. But this is the thing. I ain't mad about it. You know, I ain't mad. When you play in somebody's face, they allowed to tell what they know. And it's like, oh, you should have been told. No, sometimes people mind their business until you play with their business. I remember working a job and the staff was still in front of the company, you know, stealing groceries, stealing money and all of this. It was a group home. And then I just mind my business. I ain't telling nobody. But then when I tried to put in for my two days off so I could go do a speaking engagement, and then my, my boss and his boss, two black men, denied it, I said, okay, <laughs> finna be the end of y'all. I went right down there to the white folks, and I said, listen, 
these Negroes in here stealing all y'all money. They stealing groceries. They doing this. They doing that. And, then, oh, you a snitch. Why are you coming and telling us this? They ain't say you a snitch. They say, Tony, why are you telling us this? I said, don't worry about why I'm telling it. I just know that it's happening. And so I ain't against it. It's like, if you don't play with me, you don't mess around and play with what's mine. So the man who telling now, he is homosexual because a heterosexual man not finna get fonded on. You're not finna get fonded on just to make some beats. So that man, you know, he gave us all like those. And he trying to act like he's shocked and appalled. No, you ain't not getting fonded on. You want to get fonded on. Because I'm going to tell you something about no man. On a grown, a grown musky man can't be no victim. I know y'all try to say, oh, don't victim blame and victim shame and all that. No, he wanted to be in there. But now they playing with his money. Now he finna tell. Because a grown man, I'm going to tell you now. The grown men, we ain't scared of nothing. We ain't scared of nothing. We ain't scared to die. We ain't scared to lie. We ain't scared to fight. It's something God put in a man. You got to think about it. Men is going to war and losing their life for a country that don't even love them. So what is a man truly scared of if he ain't scared to go fight for somebody who don't love him and lose his life? Think about it now. Think about it. So you got to really, you know, put this together. And when you go to processing this, you start to see that this new face, this new face is different. Because look at how this man, you know, look at how did it look. And the man, they, some people talking about, they, you know, did it lawyers talking about the man lying. That man ain't lying. Because you're not finna come out and, and put yourself in no position for no defamation suit. You ain't finna put yourself in no defamation suit. You ain't finna put yourself under no perjury because you could end up going to prison for wasting these people time and money and resources and you telling lies. He telling his truth is just something he wouldn't have told had they not played with him. So he ain't telling it for the right reason. He ain't telling it for justice because I seen his little video on TikTok and he talking about they ain't paying him right, they ain't doing this, they ain't doing that. He ain't, I ain't hear him say in the little bit I watch, I ain't hear him say nothing about I'm telling just for justice because it's wrong or what they was doing. He just talking about what they ain't paying him. And then I could look at him and tell. But then he got in there. He got the guy Stevie J in there, which Stevie J always looked like a freak, but I just never thought he was dealing with men. And then he got Usher in there. He got Meek Mill in there. Now, Meek Mill, I thought, was like a goon or something, you know, and, and then he went to Stan and Stank. And when he went to Stan and Stank, I'm like, why Meek Mill stand like that? Like, why he Stan and Stank? So now, when this man go to Harlem by Meek Mill was getting the line and toe out of him, it kind of start to look like that because how he be standing sometimes. Now, Usher, even Usher, you know, we'll look at Usher and this guys who look like Usher, you know, meaning like, you know, just a certain little little box. You know, I, I could be put in that same box, meaning just like, you know, brown skin, low hair cut, features, you know, go together, whatever, symmetrical features. And so we done, you know, I done been called Metro and Pretty Boy and stuff like that. But even with that look, we'll get the credit of not looking like we deal with men and so but i done had people i done had a, a young lady say i thought you were gay i'm like what the world just because just because my eyes is a different color and so we have that type of stereotype stuff but even with usher you know we take and we give him credit and we we say he and the women but now when this lawsuit come out you start to look at folks differently and say, okay, Usher, what you getting that Buddha war out too? And so it, it's shocking, but see, this is what the realization, and then you had the NBA player, former NBA player, Dwight Howard. Now, this man got more shoulders than Jack and the Beanstalk. You just would not think no man that's built like that, six foot ten, all these shoulders. 
you know, getting power dry by another man or a transvestite named Kitty. You just would not imagine that in a million years. So now, here's the thing. Ladies, you have got to know the Lord. Because see, one thing about the Lord, the Lord going to give you wisdom and discretion. If you got you a fruity booty, if you got you one of these fruity booty men, the Lord, you being his daughter, knowing you finna be itching down there, knowing you finna have feces deposited in you, the Lord gonna give you a, he, he, the Lord gonna give you a little twinge in your spirit to say, listen, you got your old Sodom and Gomorrah man, and he, and he getting woe out the frame, and you're going to sense it. And I'm going to tell you now, one thing about it is what I noticed about these men, they'll show some signs. They'll eventually say something that's real kind of off. Or they'll do something. And, and see, that's what I'm going to try to tell you too. See, I be seeing some of these men who they, they want to do all this romancing. And I just never understood that. But now that the face of gay is changing, that bromancing is starting to look different to me. So these men who always want to be up under man, always want to be hanging out, and always want to be talking about bros before hoes and all of this right here, you're gay. You're gay. Point blank period, all right, man. You're getting power stroke and... Because it just don't make no sense. A man should not put no man before a woman. A man should not want to put men before his woman. He should not want to hang with a man more than he want to hang with his woman. And that's the thing with these men is these men, they starting to want them a strong bike to lean on. They starting to want some muscles in their life. They, they want a man to power drive them. And then they want to have a woman for a cover-up. And that's what I'm starting to realize now. Because now when I look at uh, P. Diddy. And I look at Meek Mill. And I look at Usher. And I look at Stevie J. I'm like, and I look at Cuba Gooden. The man got Cuba Gooden in there. When I look at the man, the producer, who filed a lawsuit. Say he was in there getting fondled. So now... When I look at all of these faces of black men, that's pretty much run the gamut. I'm thankful that they ain't have Rick Ross name in there, cause Rick Ross hang with P Diddy a lot for a little while there. I'm thankful Rick Ross name wasn't in there, cause all that meat on his bones, he'd have been in there starting a grease fire, getting power drove. And so, cause now if Rick Ross name come up in a lawsuit for being a power bottom, like they had T.D. Jakes in there. It, that right there will basically represent every look. Every look. And, you know, even Terry Crews came out. And say he was getting fondled. And it's like, what kind of energy? Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a, the biggest man in the world. You know, I'm 5'9", five 5'10". Five the most I done weighed is 210 pounds. I, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to just be straight up with you as a man, I ain't never been fondled. A man ain't never tried to touch me inappropriately. So, Terry, what was you giving off? Because you got all of these muscles. I don't understand a man trying to fondle Terry Crews. All the muscles, that man could crush your head like a grape. Who finna try to fondle Terry Crews big behind? So, Terry, you... you, you See, I question stuff like that with men. And I know I might be wrong for it because they're talking about, oh, don't vent them shame. Don't vent them blame. But no, no, nah. you giving off some energy for a man to try to grab your thing big as, and big as you is. So now listen, if we got Tara Cruz big behind, and then look at Shannon Sharp big behind. 
all the muscle Shannon Sharp, and he walk around with the boy, with the little boy, I think they call him Hollywood. He walk around prancing the game at the game with the little man. With 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 the little gay man, Hollywood. And so people start speculating about Shannon Sharp. So now if you got men that's built like Shannon Sharp, Terry Crews, men who look like Usher, Meat Mill, P. Diddy, Stevie J, Cuba Gooden, the producer who filed a lawsuit, it's like now it's impossible to look at somebody and say he's gay or he's not gay. Because now you got masculine men that's getting bent over in power drove. And so it's like you can't just look around and just say, oh, so now you got to really try the spirit by the spirit. Meaning you got to be in prayer and supplication to make sure you're not sleeping with you old bottom. To make sure a bottom ain't knocking the bottom out of you. Because what these men gonna start to do, and because these men is nasty, these men is nasty. So now you got to be prayed up and not laid up. You got to be prayed up and not laid up. Cause now these men is trying to bring feces to your kitchen. They bringing feces to your kitchen, and now here you is as a woman calling yourself want to have you a little relationship, and. You're cool about itching. Itching to no end because it's full of feces from your boyfriend or your husband. Think about this now. Think about this. Because for, for one, as men, we don't bathe every day. So imagine a man go get a mold and he got a mold dookie stick. He, he bringing that dookie stick right back to you. So now you up, you itching, you stinking, burning, BC, UT urinary tract infected. You, you can't even walk with your legs rubbing together because this man to mess you up. So now you have to know the Lord. Lord, give me the wisdom. The knowledge, the understanding, and discretion to be able to tell if this man like him men, like him some men. And you got to take your time because you're going to see the signs. And I have worked with women who got into, just felt a little something in their spirit and went into that man's phone and found a man giving oral to another man getting oral from another man sodomizing another man or being sodomized by another man yes and this everyday normal looking black men that have been turned out because see this is one thing that I know about the mind think think about this logically now this is a lot of time we don't want to think logically think about it logically okay Anything that you eat, drink, or do, what happens? You build a tolerance. Think about your stomach. The more you eat, the more you can eat. The more you eat, the more your stomach stretch. You used to could eat half a pasta, then you could eat three quarters of a pasta, then you could eat the whole pasta, then you at Olive Garden eating the whole pasta, you done had two salads. You done had four of the breadsticks. You used to get, get full off the salad and breadsticks. Now you got salad, breadsticks, clam chowder, alfredo, strawberry lemonade. Then you want your cheesecake. That's the same thing happened with sex. First you want you some missionary. First you just a little fun. Just a little kissing. Just a little this. Next thing you know, boom, you all the way missionary. Next thing you know, you want a, next thing you know, you want a doggy style. Next thing you know, you want a cowgirl. Next thing you want to, you want a reverse cowgirl. Next thing you want, you want to do the or. Next thing you, next thing you know, you talking about swallowing some. Think about it. So that's what lust do. What lust does with these nasty perverted men 
it keep got to notch it up, notch it up, notch it up. So the next thing you know, they go from one woman, two women, three women, four women. A man who I seen turned gay told me he slept with 10 women in one day. Kept notching it up, notching it up, notching it up to eventually he say, you know what? These women ain't good enough. He want him a transvestite, which is a man who dressed like a woman, but got a dang a lane. And then the, the, the NBA player, the White Howard, he wanted his man. The man called himself a cisgender. I don't know what that is. He say, basically, they say that's what the word sissy come from, cisgender. He say, the man described himself as a man who got a dang lane but dressed like a woman. I don't know if that's the true term, if that's what he was using it right. But he released the, he leaked the audio on Twitter and he said, on the audio, it said, Dwight, you say you want the suck D and you want to get effed in the A. I say, what the this man built like the green mile and he trying to go to brown mile i'm like what in the world i'm 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 thinking there's a height limit on a gay man i'm thinking man you can't be taller than a certain you can't be cross six feet and be gay i'm on now uh, you come on now uh, you're too big you around here all kind of shoulders. You can't tell today. You can't tell today. That's why I'm going back to this right here. All that shaking hand. I'm going back to that. Remember when we used to do that back in the day? I'm going back to that. Uh, only you fist bump me because you couldn't have got so nasty. Now you sticking a fist in there behind I got to go. I got to go. I done, I done ran my son. I, I done ran my son out the, out the sprinter. My son had to get up out of here. He said, oh, my God. But I be having to talk to him about that. I'm like, son, stop sending selfies to your male friends. I'm like, y'all, it's nasty. Y'all y'all gay. Son, you're not supposed, y'all not supposed to be sending pics. Oh, daddy don't mean nothing. They're just saying, what's up? I said, no, nah. I wouldn't have never sent no selfie to no man. But that's the thing. But you know what? All his friends watch porn. And and, and and let me let me catch him watching some porn. He's gonna be sleeping under a bridge. But you see what I'm saying? This these boys is being turned out. And they're being turned out at a young age. P. Diddy, grown musky, stinking behind, got Usher at it, living with him for a year when Usher 13 or something like that. Then Usher got uh, Justin Bieber living with him when he a little baby. And then P. Diddy talking about him and Usher used to be wrestling in the morning over the cereal. What? And then Usher did an interview with on um, Howard Stern. They showed the clips of us like they were like, "Will you let your child go up there and live with P Diddy?" He said, "H no." How like why not? You went up there. Usher was like Usher tried not to say too much, but Usher was telling us right then that it was all kind of finagling going on up there, all kind of angling for nangling going on. It might be why us would be wiggling them hips like that on that stage. Got them hips loosened up up there hanging out with P. Diddy on the hips. All kind of moonwalking and twitching around. Listen, I'm going to tell you like this right here. If you a man and you into that Sodom Gomorrah, don't even speak to me. Don't even speak to me. I'm going to tell you that now. Like, listen, man, don't, don't come with that foolishness, man. Don't come with that foolishness. You need to... If that's what you want to do, that's between you and the devil. If that's what you want to do, and you're going to have to answer to God because you know what the Holy Bible say about it. But listen, don't try to go get you nobody that 
is in the women and trying to turn them out. And that, that was wrong if he did it. He using money and power to try to turn out heterosexual men. And that's why I'm gonna try to t that's why I'm telling you. I believe, I believe in my spirit that P. Diddy ego got so big that he wanted a piece of T.D. Jake booty hole. I believe his ego got so big and when you live in that lifestyle, you want in conquest. You got so many conquests and I believe P. Diddy got to the point to where he was like, Boom, I got this little teen star. Boom, I got this adult, st I got this R&B singer. Boom, I done hit this rapper. Boom, I done hit this rapper. Boom, I done hit. And I think he got to a point to where he say he want to hit him a pastor. But And I think he could have done hit him a pastor that was just in New York, just low level. Because I remember meeting a man who I think was a pastor. He was some up there in New York. And he had a bookstore. This man booked me for a, a book signing. He ain't had no following, no audience. He couldn't promote nothing. I went up to the man bookstore. It wasn't a soul in that store for my book signing. And that man was just a uh, fruit as a garden. When I hit, when I tell you he was apples, oranges, strawberries. He, he, he probably looked at my picture and thought I was handsome and wanted to get me close to him. And I'm going to tell you. This pastors that I ain't gonna say their name, but it is pastors who booked me to come speak at their church. And when I got there, I said to myself and I said to my security guard, that man gay, that pastor gay. It's mega pastors too. Mega pastors. You hear me? I said that man gay. That man got a homosexual spirit on him. And because he think I look good, he wanted to see if this right here because he think I look soft, he wanted to see if I'm gay. And then once they once they meet me and they feel my energy and they, they could tell, see, a homosexual man or a bisexual man, they know who homosexual, who bisexual. They know it because men, we read energy. We read spirit. We could read. That's because we hunters. We killers. We we, we out there so we can read and we can assess quickly. So as soon as they met me, because you can't tell till you meet somebody. As soon as they met me, they were like, oh, he ain't with that funny business. No, he ain't with no entering, no exit. Let me go on, get this man hit $5,000. Let him get up here and preach. Uh, do this motivational speech and go on by their business. And I, I ain't hear from the men now another time. You hear, I ain't hear from them now another time. And and I ain't, I ain't gonna give you no hints because you'll be able to know who I'm talking about too. It, it was three of them, three mega pastors that brought me in to speak at their church. And this was years ago when, when I first went viral. This round between 20, 2012, 2016, when my page went viral on Twitter and then on Facebook. And I say, boy, look here. I said, Lord, it is gay men standing in the pulpit and some of these men had a wife but yet it's in them some rectum and I honestly believe in my heart and now that P did it on the run I ain't scared to talk about it because see one thing about that spirit too that, that, that homosexual spirit in a man it'll get you killed they'll, they'll kill somebody I do not doubt that P. Diddy got plenty of bodies on his hand because that spirit is a demon. And that demon, and that's why every gay man I've met is messy. Just start junk, just always gossiping, always into something, always doing something. Because that spirit is a demonic spirit that start to take over. And they got to try to, and they be wrestling in their flesh and blood not understanding that what they dealing with is spiritual and they try to take it out by bringing chaos and drama and toxicity to everybody life with messiness because they fighting against that spirit and they saying i'm born this way but they not born that way that is a demonic spirit that have to be cast out and that's why you see the young lady the jackie hill perry 
who used to be a lesbian is not straight and she married and she talk about having to get that spirit out of her. A lot of people don't want to admit that though. And we all scared of being canceled, but I realize I ain't got no contracts. <laughs> Lord take care of me. I ain't got no contracts, so I can't be canceled. <laughs> Just the day. You can't cancel me. I'm gonna I'm finna talk my stuff. I'm gonna tell the truth and shame the devil. Cause you can't cancel me. The Lord done sent me a little group of people that they look out for me. They look out for me. A little group of people. Every now and then, they look. They send me a little cash out. Here you go, Tony. Keep talking that truth. Keep telling the truth. And 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 that's what the Lord will do. That's what the Lord will do. Hey, but it's Tony Gaston. God bless you. I'm finna go on in here and spend some time with my wife. God bless you. We'll talk soon.